Work for who's your lord? Eivor, you should hear this. Ah, this Bakrat and his friends had the foolish balls to raid Ravensthorpe. Are the others dead? A few. Most of them escaped. They did not damage much, but made off with some of our gear. Should I get Ranvi? No. She has enough on her table. I will handle this. So, you thought you would play at Vikinger, little man. Are you prepared to go all the way? You won't get anything out of me, Danish scum. I'll never talk. I'm Norse. And what makes you think I want to hear you talk? Maybe I will take my payment in flesh. Chop off his leg. It does not have to be a clean cut. No need to sharpen your blade. No, please! Don't cut off my leg! It was Sir Edward who wanted your stuff! He paid us to do it! Sir Edward? Yes, the Earl of West Turner! Or, or that's what he calls himself. Said he hates Vikings, your lord especially. Where can I find this Sir Edward, Earl of West Turner? I don't know, I'm new! We were supposed to steal the gear, then meet at the longship west of Ravensburg. That's all I know! You can take him to Randry now. Maybe we can trade him for a pig. I'm off to check out this longship. Hey, Eivor! Hey, Eivor! Hey, hey! They're off.
can't raise the sail here. Can't raise the sail yet. Shall we raise the sail, Evo? More Jesus! sail! Who will share a tail? Do you remember Ingrid the chicken? The one that the wretched old hermit woman used to keep? I stole her, you know. We had a connection, that bird and I. I would come by and feed it seeds and worms I had picked up on the way to see her. But one day, she decided to hop into my arms. A sign, I thought. She had chosen me as her master. I vowed to look after her. My young heart sang. I had always wanted a pen of sorts, so I stashed her in a corner of the house with father. Butchered on a plate. Not every day the gods bless us with an easy meal, one woman. This one wandering right into the house? Now eat! I sat and ate my meal in silence. Ingrid was delicious. Raising the sail here. We must grow in these waters. This wind would fill Run the sail. The sail. Yeah. Sing, my ravens. Need to row our way out. You salt skulls, got a story? Take the mask the early days of the feud between Kiyokve, the crew, and the Raven Clan, there was a mad berserker called Kiar Robo. Kiar had pledged his battle fury Raise to no mask. king or yard, and would give his old only ones each winter for reasons nobody could fathom. One year, Kiar's sister, Kuhn, was married to Kiyotve's brother, Alrek. And soon, Kiar was often seen in the company of that clan.
go for my eyes. Nothing more to share for now. Prisoner did not lie about this location. Fear breeds truth. Looks like they were planning to launch a raid dressed as the Raven Clan and blame us for it. The Saxons must have stolen this longship. They added our clan banner, but do not know how to mount shields. This was a slaughter, not a battle. Their wounds are very precise and familiar. This outfit is still in good shape. I'll reclaim it for our clan. the sentries not me is that a joke you won't be laughing when I drag you before Earl Edward to answer for your incompetence I would very much like to meet your Earl Edward uh, captain I think that's a real Viking drop your weapons Shane, and submit to me I'm Norse and you will die for soiling the honor of the Raven clan You're a true Raven Clan. My name is Roshan, and we share a common enemy. Sir Edward. The Earl of Resterna is a puppet, manipulated by one called Alcila. A fitting title given her duplicitous nature. 
She belongs to an order who employ disruption and strive to further their ends. Your clan is a tool in her schemes. I've met such weavers of intrigue before, and those who oppose them. I would consider the enemy of my enemy a friend. Let me guide you to where you can take your revenge on the Earl. Lead the way. If this Alcila seeks to wield my clan's honor as a weapon, she shall find it cut both ways. Satisfy yourself with the Earl, and leave. Perhaps this task is best left to one who is younger. To one more familiar with these lands. I was killing her kind before you were off your mother's teeth. The Earl's death will draw her out. Leave the rest to me. That blade you wear upon your arm. Where did you get it? It was a gift. From my brother. Truly? Is he a... A great warrior and traveler who discovered many things. And yours? Reclaimed after a long absence. The years without it were the hardest I've known. Your endurance is impressive for one of your years. And I meant no disrespect when I offered to kill the one you. My blade has grown neither rusty nor dull. What I lack in brutish strength, I make up in quiet subtlety. I too can be silent when I choose. Ha! Huh. You may be exceptional among your kind, child. But I am a lifetime ahead of you in that. What do you know of Earl Edward? Why does he hate the Raven Clan so? He blames you for the loss of his title and property. The very land where Ravensthorpe now stands. It was there for the taking, abandoned and uncared for. His quarrel is with those who came before us. It matters not to him. He hates all Vikings and will work with whomever will help discredit you and drive you from England. We'll have a better view from atop this tower. Is where Alcila and the Earl may camp. At Ravensburg, no less. They will choke on their arrogance. Alcila's gold has built up the fort's defenses. It will be no easy thing to penetrate. A challenge for some, perhaps. Less so for me. Do you know what lies within its walls? If I describe what I've learned, could you picture it with your mind's eye? I can do better. Soon in! Listen carefully. The Saxons within the outer wall are less disciplined. <laughs> Relying on their Viking attire to deflect curiosity. They will not notice one more Viking among them. I could use the outfit I took off the dead Saxon at the longship. Very good. Also, some Saxons are engaged in tasks which could help you blend in. What of the Earl? Where is he? Within the heart of the encampment. He plays at holding court, but in truth, Alcila keeps him leashed like a hungry dog. The Earl's death must be loud and unmistakable. A clamor Alcila cannot ignore. So, a silent approach with a noisome finish. This is your counsel. Is your mind capable of balancing two conflicting ideas while orchestrating this necessary distraction? I could kill the Earl a hundred different ways while composing a great song for the occasion. Do you have a preference? In the open, 
beneath that tree. Approach silently. Then kill him in full view of his men. That will draw the spider out. I will create a commotion the guards could not ignore. Good. Will you now don the outfit you took from the Saxon imposter? To better blend with the rest. This disguise will help me play the imposter. I need to be patient or risk rousing suspicion.
Why is the Earl so obsessed with the Raven Clan? They took his land or something, I don't know. Who cares so long as we're paid? Have you seen that foreign bird, Alcila? Oh, I wouldn't mind a slice of that. The way I hear it, she's making ten waves for next week. Anyway, she rarely leaves that cabin of hers. Keeps it locked tight. So yes.
Elsila's cabin. I will leave her to Roshan. With the riches we earn from these Viking raids, I will reclaim my land, and we shall all live like kings. There is the arrow. To meet Roshan's challenge, I should strike from behind. Gold and silver. If this venture is to succeed, and it will succeed, people must truly believe we are Vikings. We must adopt the mindset of these murderous, thieving barbarians. We must raid them as they have raided our lands. It's not enough to simply look like Vikings. We must get inside their heads. You want to be Vikings? Are you ready to die like a Viking? I am. The Earl is dead! The Vikings are attacking! Alhamdulillah. I have been held hostage by that animal! Come closer, that I may look upon the face of my liberator. It is done. Freya's might. To be that deadly after so many winces. <sighs> that was a glorious sight, wise one. It was as though Hell, Queen of the Underworld, descended from that tree. <sighs> I think I felt her in my bones, and not in any comforting way. Are you. Uh... I am fine. Though I will pay for that glory later. So, now that your destiny is achieved, will you seek a more peaceful path? Alcida was merely an obstacle on a long road. This is the real prize of the day. I'd retrieved it after I put that witch to rest. What is it? The future. A seed to plant in Jerusalem. So the fates are not finished with you. Does it ever end? And you? Are you satisfied to have achieved your vengeance? My greatest satisfaction is knowing that the honor of the Raven Clan is unblemished, and that my people are safe. As it shall ever be, so long as you are the champion. Goodbye, Eivor Wolfkist of the Raven Clan. I wonder if I shall ever learn more of her story.